And here it is. It's time for another two-minute tech tip. Hi, I'm Bob Rubart with the Oracle Technology Network, back with another close but brief encounter with a member of the Oracle community. This time around, that encounter is once again with veteran two-minute tipster Stephen Feuerstein. Stephen is an architect at Oracle Corporation, and he's the author of Oracle PL SQL Programming, now in its sixth edition from O'Reilly Media. So let's hear what the man has to say. Stephen's two minutes start now. So thanks for joining me for another two minute tip. This one's about the function result cache, a feature added in Oracle 11G that can have a really nice boost to performance in your applications. And the sweetest thing about it by far, almost no change to your code, as long as you get in the habit of putting your select statements inside functions. So here's the idea. If you have a static data set like a materialized view, or even better, you have a table that's hammered with queries. People are fetching against that table thousands of times a second, a minute, whatever. But it only changes every 10 minutes or 15 minutes or half hour. In other words, the rate of change is much slower than the rate of fetching the same rows repeatedly. Then you have a great use case for the result cache. So what you do is you put your select statement inside a function. You add one keyword, result underscore cache, to your function header. And then what you're doing is telling Oracle that across the entire database instance, Anytime anybody calls that function, check to see if somebody's already called it with the same input parameter values. If so, get the value out of the SGA base cache. Don't execute the query. Don't parse it. Don't check to see if it's already been parsed, etc. Just get it out of the cache. If nobody else in the instance has called that function with the same input values, then execute the function, cache the return value, send it back to the user. So as people are hammering against that table through the function, they're not actually executing SQL. The return time is much shorter much faster than going through the SQL error, and you have an accumulated uh, optimization of your application. Make sure you collaborate with your DBAs on this feature. So if you say to yourself, I love result cache, I want to use it all over the place, the DBA has to make sure the result cache pool is big enough to support all the caching. But you put those pieces together, and you have a really nice and easy way to optimize your application, leveraging Oracle Database as an application development platform par excellence. Oh, you've made me so happy. Is Stephen's tip useful? Oh, yes. Yes, of course. Let us know and stay tuned.